Hej, og velkommen til Aftastudiet forud for søndagens kamp mod HB Køge på, på udebane. Og som I kan se, så har vi besøg af Rosa Gallegos i studie 2 i dag. Og som altid, der skal vi blive lidt klogere på, på gæsten. Og til, til at hjælpe med det, der har vi fået en masse fanspørgsmål fra, fra jeres seere. Tusind tak for det. Uh, Gallegos kom til Danmark i vinter, som, som mange af jer ved, og han har selvfølgelig ikke helt lært dansk endnu. Så lige om to sekunder, der slår jeg over i engelsk, og det meste vil foregå på engelsk. Uh, og ja, han er selvfølgelig helt med på, hvad der, hvad der skal foregå. Are you ready, Jose? Yeah, yeah. Yes. Of uh, the first question is from Mathilde Pateo Nielsen. Hey, Jose, what is the best best thing about playing for, for Sønderjysk? Best thing, uh, overall, just just playing football. I think uh, it's the reason I, you know, I, I fell in love with the game. And the best thing is doing it in Europe. And I've always dreamed of playing in Europe. And, and, and I'm here now. And I'm just, I just love the game. And, you know, I, I give my all every, every time I'm on the field. Yes. And uh, the next question is from Amir Kassan. Hey, Jose, if you could choose one of the big five uh, leagues, which uh, league do you think will fit you best? Uh, I, my playing style, I think Spain. Mm. The, uh, I, I like, you know, I'd, I'd say I'm more technical mm. than athletic. Uh, so I think Spain just because, you know, I've enjoyed watching the likes of Real Madrid, Barcelona, um, you know, the way they play is, is fantastic to watch. So I'd, I'd love to experience that, you know, sometime in my career. You will see if, if, it, if, it, yeah. if it happens one yeah. day. Uh, a question from uh, Torben Kems König. Hey, Rosé, how, how big is the difference between playing in Denmark compared to the United States? And are you happy to, to be here in uh, Denmark? Yeah. Um, where I played, it was a very physical league. I'd say uh, here, uh, here it's very physical as well. Mm. Uh, but I think, uh, you know, some of, the, some of the players I come up against are very smart. You know, they, they, they're athletic and they can, they can play well. So. I think overall they're they're more they're better in in, in football uh, in regards to getting out of situations um, and as well uh, are athletic. So yeah, it t- took some time to adjust, but I think I'm finally getting you know in control of that kind of aspect of it. And a question from Frank Lauritsen, a very loyal fan. Hello, Rose. How well are you settled uh, in here, and what is the biggest difference between your hometown and uh, in Hellerslo? I guess uh, uh, Hellerslo is a little smaller than. Uh, yeah, it's. Uh, Yeah, it's c- completely different, uh, but it's been fairly easy because the people here are, you know, everyone's really nice and, and polite and made it easy for me to adjust, especially because, you know, most people here speak English. So, yeah, it's been fairly easy to transfer over here. And, uh, yeah, uh, I think the main difference is just how everything is, you know, how everything looks around here in the U.S. It's a completely different atmosphere and, you know, it's obviously different type of uh, cultures and, and, and people around. So, yeah. Yes, and a question uh, from uh, Lars Mosshey Müller. Hello, Jose and Magnus. Thank for it, uh, Lars. Was it a big change to move to the north in Denmark? Uh, I hope you don't forget it. We regret it and uh, the best of luck uh, on Sunday in Køge. See you in Køge, Køge and take the three points with us home. No, like I said last in the last question, I think it's it's been fairly easy, surprisingly, you know, because, you know, at a young age, you don't really know what to expect. And, uh, yeah, when I got here, Uh, I think the biggest difference was just the weather. The weather is just completely different to where I am, where it's just really hot all the time. Uh, in the winter, it's cold, you know, a couple of days, and then, you know, it's it's. But here, it's completely different. And it's mostly cloudy here, which is difficult for me. I, mm. I love the sun, but yeah, I've adjusted. I've adjusted well. Now, uh, some questions from Instagram. The first one is from Arne. Had you heard about Danish football before you heard about the interest from Sønderjyske? If I'm completely honest, uh, no. The the I only knew Midtjylland uh, and Copenhagen. Mm. I think were the only two I know because obviously the Champions League. So I knew they were good teams, you know, to be playing in the Champions League. So that's that was my only you know idea of, of what uh, Denmark had to offer. But when when obviously Sunderjyski came knocking on the door, I I'd, uh, I took more my interest in, in into into the team and and saw. What the league was all about. Yes, and a question from Nick four three two. How is it to play for Sunuske? It's it's amazing. Mm-hmm. I think uh, you know as long as I'm playing football, as long as I'm uh, surrounded by good people, by uh, you know people that support me and I support them, and we're just bouncing off one another, and you know while we're playing the game we love, it's it's amazing. You know, and uh, like I said, I mentioned that earlier, playing in Europe is nothing better than that. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah, I'm living the dream for sure. Mm. And a question from uh, Carlos 99. What are three things 
besides family and friends that you miss f- from San Antonio, Texas? Uh, that's a tough one. The only mm. thing that comes to mind is family and friends, but mm. I, like I said, culture is 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 a big thing. Uh, there's a large, you know, Mexican culture. You know, my um, blood blood is is Mexican. You know, my both parents are Mexican, so I, I'd say the food. Uh, you know, mom's cooking. Uh, uh, just doing you know basic things as it, like going to the to the movies or playing you know different type of games with my friends but yeah i'd say maybe just the culture that we have there uh especially the mexican culture for sure mm. the next question is from ludwig christensen what is your main target this season both for you and for the whole team i think overall uh, you know we have high expectations to to be promoted back into to the super league i think there's nothing less than that we should be going for and You know, I'm I'm working really hard as well as you know my teammates to to do that. Uh, you know, it's it's not easy, and uh, yeah, we're pushing for that. And you know, on a personal level, for me, it's just you know, as I play, getting to my best because I know I'm still striving to get to my best. And uh, you know, it's it goes day by day and putting in the work, and eventually that will come. And it's just uh, that belief that that always stays in me and and the team. And another interesting question is from Jeppe Viby. What is your favorite Danish food? You said that you miss your your mom's uh, cooking. Yeah, I do. Uh, honestly, I need some help from you because mm. I, I I don't I'm not really familiar with Danish foods. <laughs> so I I only eat pizza. Almost. Pizza. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I'm I'm not Danish. very familiar yeah. with the uh, with any Danish. I we have lunch, but I never ask what the meal is mm. called. I just you know I just have yeah. have the food and that's it. I'm not a food specialist, <laughs> so I, I can't tell you. If you don't know, then uh, I'm, I'm worse. But, but pizza is good. Yeah, I yeah, I love pizza. <laughs> yeah. Well. Yeah. Next question is from Nick Elker. How different is the league uh, of the USL compared to the Super League and the First Division in, uh, in Denmark? Uh, I think I had mentioned this earlier. Mm. It was just, it's just the, f- the physicality is, I'd say, is similar. Mm. Uh, it's just when it comes to the football, like, like I said, it's just it's it, they're a bit smarter here in, in situations. And when you think you have, you know, the team stuck, you know, they manage to get out in some way or one way or another. And it's yeah, it's I think I'd say that. Mm. That was it from the from the questions. Now, Jose, you can you can choose the best question and uh, reward it with four tickets to our next home game against Weil. So uh, you can just. Uh, Pick one. Yes, that's this one from Carlos. So look at Carlos 99. Du er udvalgt af Jose Gallegos, og du vil blive kontaktet af os i forhold til fire billetter til Sønderjyske mod Vejle. Kan du ikke der, så finder vi selvfølgelig ud af noget i 2023. I forhold til kampen på, på søndag mod HBK, der stiller jeg lige Rosé et, et par spørgsmål. You scored two times uh, last, uh, we, last time we played against uh, HBK. 10 days ago. Um, how do you remember that uh, that that game? Yeah, I felt we were really on top of them the whole game. The, everybody seemed so confident on the ball, and there's an energy, you know, I felt, I think some of my teammates as well felt, that, you know, everything was going our way, and, you know, we just took that and, and kept going with that throughout the whole game, and I think it was a great performance from everybody. And what do you expect from the game uh, Sunday when you play them yeah, one more time? Yeah, I'd, I'd say I, I expect nothing less you know from the, from the last performance i think we know what we can do against them and it's just having that same mindset and uh yeah performing on the field and just giving our best effort to come out with a good result and how's it feel to play on uh, artificial class instead of you know the normal number one yeah, yeah i mean it worked for us last time so mm. uh i'd say you know let's just like i said let's keep that let's keep that going and you know i'm not i'm not i want to say i'm the biggest fan of it but mm. yeah it's okay As long as we get the three points. Yes, of course. Mm-hmm. Thanks for the time, Rosé. Uh, good luck Sunday and see you Sunday. Yeah, talk for it.